All right, so hello everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you a brewery. So, um, I can't really say that word uh, correctly, honestly. Brewery, Bre brewery. Yeah. Um, anyway, you can see right here we have the fuel, which is the blaze powder, and the water bottles that we automatically have um, filtered down into this brewer right here. You can see they all get put in. I believe I haven't filled up the uh, water bottles, but if we do fill them up, it should all get filtered down into the brewer. Um, so if we just put some more bottles in here, um, yeah, you can see it takes them all and it'll fill this up right here. I just splashed myself with weakness. That is amazing. Um, so yeah, so that is that right there. It fills it up, water bottles and blaze powder. Um, also, we have all of these. These are all the different things you can put in the brewer. Now, there are some complications with um, brewers in general. And that is that when you kind of have, you know, all these things lined up, you know, some items get into um, the brewer faster than others, which is just not a good idea whatsoever. Um, I've seen designs where people just have um, all the items and then they have all of these on a different category. Um, and it's like, oh, you have to push the button first, and then as soon as that item is done, then you need to push the button for the next one, which makes sense. But that's not automatic. That is not fully automatic. With this design, you flick the one that you want, and it will put them in the order that you suggested. Now, there's one thing that you do need to know, which is just kind of portion mechanics in general. Um, and that is that I have right here... Some portions accept redstone and glowstone. Obviously what redstone does, as you can see over here, redstone is time. So it increases the time of the portion. Some portions add multipliers. So if it's poison, it might make a poison too. Um, which would be obviously a higher level, level tier of poison. It does more damage, um, for example. So that's just how portions work. Some of them have the time one, some of them don't. Some of them have the multiplier and some of them don't. So you can see right here, this one, fire resistance, for example, you can use redstone to make it a higher time. So you can make it so you have fire resistance for a minute or like maybe three minutes. If, I don't know. I don't know the exact timings, but you know. So you can add redstone to increase the time, but you can't make a fire resistance too. It wouldn't make sense, would it? Because you're still immune to fire either way. Um, so you can't put glowstone on. So in that case, you would have to choose redstone. Um, plus as well, with portions that actually allow both, like swiftness, um, you can't put both on a portion. You, you have to choose between whether you want a time increase or a um, a multiplier on the portion. Stronger. Um, you can't have both. That's what I've at least seen overall. That it's like You can't have both of them. You have to choose one or the other. And that actually makes this design perfect as well because hoppers allow five items in it. Um, and if we had, say, this... Um, this right here, the familiar spider eye, which can alter the portion. I'll get at that in a bit. And then all these, you can see that's seven items. But because you have to choose either the redstone or the glowstone, it makes it six. And that is perfect. That is the exact amount that we actually can allow. Um, so we're going to kind of showcase this off as well. Um, so yeah, if, if you have both redstone and glowstone, um, for the, if the portion allows both of them, you can only choose one though for the portion that you want to make. And for healing here as well, it doesn't allow an increase of time. Obviously, because it's just an instant healing portion, you can't increase the time. It's instantly healing. Um, and then glowstone, you can increase the um, the amount of healing, so healing too. Um, so yeah, that's just some examples right there. And you can also see in the middle one we have altar. Um, I was going to call it invert instead because it kind of inverts the effect. Um, so alter, we can get slowness from this. So if I show you an example right here, if we had swiftness right here, so this would be swiftness, obviously every single portion uses a nether wart apart from slowness itself, if you want to make a slowness portion without altering it um, with this. Um, yeah, so if we want to alter this, we will have to do that, then that, and then the fermented spider eye right there. And that will make a slowness portion. So how we actually activate this is we will press this right here. You can see it activates all of them in a certain order. So then they will come down in a certain order. 
and you can see it will put the nether wall through first obviously because that is the first one that will go first um, and then it'll put the item that you want to make the potion from you can see from all of the yellow that'll be the next step that comes after you can see sugar there it is so that will make the swiftness potion with no added effects yet because we haven't added any glowstone nor have we added any redstone and we haven't changed it to a splash potion using that gunpowder and we haven't made it a um, lingering potion because we would have had to make it a splash potion previously so now we have a swiftness potion and you can see the familiar spider eye has been added that will alter it into a slowness potion um, so this one comes afterwards so only certain potions can actually be altered um, using them fermented spider eyes but also um, I mean this is just potion logic by itself if you know potions by the way um, there's the slowness potions right there just to prove um, potion logic every single potion you have to use a nether wart apart from a slowness potion and the slowness potion is like this so you don't have a nether wart you just have this the actual fermented spider eye we're gonna add some extra things if we want so if, if we want to make a lingering potion uh, well if splash potion is just the gunpowder but to actually make a lingering potion you need a splash potion beforehand so we'll activate both of them uh, if we want a lingering potion so you can see now if i activate this now i think i have to take these out first and it should automatically refill with no, new water bottles as you can see right there we can now see there you go it doesn't activate the nether wart but it will activate the fermented spider eye first there it is so it does take a little bit longer because they are slowly down the line as you can see down here um they are a little bit further down the line so it takes a little bit longer to activate them um because we do have delays back here you can see we have delays especially over here because um we need the fermented spider eye to go first because you can't put your redstone and glowstone on before you have your altar you have to do the altar first it goes in this step essentially the nether wart if specified if you're doing a slowness portion you don't put it on then the effect block or item sorry and um, then if you want to alter it if you can allow it then your timer multiplier and then whether you want to splash or linger on so that's how the steps kind of work and you can see right here we have a portion of weakness we have um so that's pretty good um Sorry, there is actually weakness. Um, I kept on seeing slowness every single time. I was also like, why don't, why, why don't I have a weakness potion? Yeah, it's weakness. That, that's how you make it. The weakness potions just by the permitted spider eye. Um, to get slowness, you need to alter the swiftness ones um, using a permitted spider eye. So you can see we now have a lingering portion of weakness. Pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I'm going to kind of briefly go with redstone. I'm not going to make a tutorial unless you guys really want me to. Um... Like how I normally do on the channel, I kind of showcase it off. You guys will go like, "Oh, that's a good design for something or whatever." Um, of which I also have a a incredibly good um, furnace uh, array that smelts seventy five items a second or something like that. Um, anyway, we'll get to that in a different video. Um, but yeah, this is all of uh, this. You have the lights as well, and you have the altar time and multiplier over here. So yeah, we're going to just get into it right now. Yeah, so this is just a little note that I made myself, either redstone or glowstone. You can't have both. So how this works right here is when you activate the levers, um, which I will showcase, I'll flick them all back up. I'm having a... So if I just choose this, uh, I think that's poison spider eye. And if we want to make it a longer time and just a splash potion with longer time, you can see we've acti activated them ones. Now what that does is it sends out a pulse from these blocks that turns off these redstone torches. Now, that is good because you can see over here that this these pistons are always active. They're always pushed out, meaning that these chests are always out here. You can obviously put all your items inside up here, which I have been. You can put all the items in there. Um, of which these are stairs, by the way, if you in case you didn't see. These are stairs, just uh, faced outwards. Um, but yeah, these are always active because of this line right here, of which... Um, there is a just a random item in here uh, with the comparator and when the button is pressed it will actually send out a pulse because this button will get put into this hopper up here and then back down it will send out a pulse because it will detect that there's nothing left in this dropper um, for a brief time when it's up there um, and it will send out a pulse of having literally no pulse on this entire thing on this entire line back here it will have nothing on it it will be totally deactivated 
except some pistons will still be activated with these torches underneath. The ones with no torch underneath will be deactivated. So then pistons with the torch with the, the burnt out torches, the chest will be moved. And when the chests are moved, the uh, hopper will take out just one item from it. Now the good thing is with all these delays that we have here, um that actually has the perfect timing. A big problem that we did actually face, uh, well, I, well, I faced when I was making this, was that sometimes if, even though I had it in this order right here, of the Fermented Fermented Spider Eye before the Redstone, sometimes the Redstone would go through faster than the Fermented Spider Eye for some reason. So then we had to add a load of delays. So we added one right here before um, all of these ones right here, all of the kind of additives and stuff to your portions. Um, and then we'll add one right here for, or for the splash portions because them come afterwards. Um, and it seems like it all works. And also, as well, you can see all these are on two ticks, um, except from the start on one, which we obviously need on one tick because that one is totally separate and needs to come first. Um, but you can see this one's on three ticks right here uh, because the redstone and glowstone needs to come afterwards, um, after the nether wart. Uh, no, from the spider eye. I'm getting really confused between all the portion things. I've just recently started getting into portions, so I mean, don't blame us. Um, so, yeah, so we'll have loads of delays here. You can see this one has another delay as well, because um, otherwise there would be a connection with this repair over here, and that wouldn't be good. So, that's how we will, we will set up. If you want a tutorial on that, I will do it. Um, but yeah. That is my little potion brewer right there. I um I'll I'll make this potion then I guess. Um, so let's just take all these out. Uh, let's make a poison potion with increased time and a splash. So let's let's do that. It should be in a long duration splash poison potion. Let's see if this actually works. So let's put them in, and we'll activate the button. It should send all of the things out. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Only had four things. And it all might start with the nether wart. It should make a poison potion right now. And it's heavily reliable. It's it's literally, and not to like, you know, buff myself up or anything, but this is very reliable. You can literally use whatever potion you want um, as long as you don't get it incorrect. So, um, obviously we will have signs when I'm making a massive wild world. I'll have signs on every single chest saying whether you can apply redstone or glowstone to it or both. Um, and obviously you will have to know that you can only put one of the two when using the potion uh, brewer. And I'll also put if it can be altered using the, ferment the fermented spider dry right, to whatever portion you want it to be. So obviously, for example, swiftness goes to slowness. So you can see down here we now have the poison potions. We are now going to make it a little bit longer with the redstone. So it goes from 45 seconds up to how long? Two minutes. That is some bad shit right there, like, potion of poison for two minutes, that is, whew, that is uh, pretty, pretty good. Um, so then we have the gunpowder right here, which will make it a splash potion. Um, so yeah, I will be making this on Massive Isle World, so um, if you guys want to see the live stream for that, that would be pretty cool. Um, and it's just got a splash potion right there for 130. So yeah, it does, um, it does actually use that many materials, as you see when I flew by. It's literally just quite a lot of repeaters, honestly. I mean, there are a few hoppers right here, like this right here, which has all the bottles in. Obviously, there's no bottles in. Um, this goes down here into the side. You can see it goes into the side of this. You can see it goes into the brewer from that side. And this one wraps around and goes into the back. We don't want them to go through the exact same hopper because water bottles are non Um So the blaze powder sometimes could get clogged up. Um, which wouldn't be good. So we need two different lines into the back. So it might look a little bit annoying having loads of hoppers kind of surround this, um, especially if you're making it in your base, but I think it looks cool, honestly. It's a pretty good design and it's really, really reliable. Um, and yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.